your life have you thought about suicide? Every 12 minutes, someone passes away from it. It's the 10th leading cause of death in America. And it's something very close and personal to me as I lost my brother to it. What strikes someone so hard that they literally cannot go on living? I feel like it's probably a combination of things. I've been suicidal myself, but I've never pursued it. Thankfully, I'm blessed. But what takes over a person? What drives them? You. What's ever driven you to think about it? What's hurt you so much? What's overcome you? What waves washed over you? What abyss took you in? I feel like a lot of people, maybe even all of us, have thought about it at some point or another. There are some people that I feel like are just built suicide proof, but then again, those people might be the very ones that are susceptible the most. I thought my brother was suicide proof. I felt like he was the one that would be the most steadfast in the face of everything that was flying at him. I thought he was just built stronger than me. I thought he would be here until he was 80 or 90. And he's gone. From the looks of things, I will grow older than my brother. I will outlive him as of right now, barring cancer or an accident. It's just a few years away. I wanted him to live. There is hope for us all. There is hope for us all. In prayer, in getting help, in communication with others, there are so many ways to reach out. Now more than ever before. Yet we still fall prey our own depression, to our own weakness, to our own sadness. Why? Why do we give up? Why do we give up when there is so much beauty in the world and why can't we see it? How foggy do our minds have to get for us not to see the beauty in life and the world and to count our blessings? How simple is it to just count our blessings? We lose so many people every day. 123 people die from suicide every day. And who really dies from suicide? Is it just the person or is it everyone that knows them, everyone that's related to them, everyone that's around them? Does not a little piece of each person die when someone else commits suicide? My big brother killed himself and a little piece of me died inside. I didn't want to believe it, but it's true. It's very much there inside of me. There's a little dead thing inside of me because of him. And it has to be so much worse for others that knew him better than I did. We weren't even close. Even a distant relationship dies when 
when someone dies. And that pain cannot be easily removed or forgotten. We were distant, but I loved my brother in my own way, and he loved me in his own way, and none of that mattered in the moment of his decision. Please reach out to someone or something. Please do anything you can to stay alive. There is beauty and hope and peace to be found. There is escape from the pain that is not death. Death is not the only way to escape, to get help. Death is not getting help. Death is not pushing through the darkness to find your victory. Death is not the answer. It never was, and it never will be. There are people all over the world that would kill to have what we have in America. They would do anything to have our health and our well-being and our poverty level. They would do anything to have even the most poor American's life. They would do anything. To not have to walk miles for fresh water or have to fear AIDS every moment of every day. There are people in this world that would do anything to be free of what they're afraid of. Things that we don't even understand. And yet we think it's impossible to go on. It's like the Midas touch. We have so much, yet we're so afraid to keep going sometimes, because it hurts, because it's hard, because the challenges are too many and too big and too scary, yet we can make it. steadfast for those in the back we can remain steadfast and we can overcome we must succeed where others have failed we must continue to live have so much that we are not thankful for. And this is not a guilt trip. This is not me coming down on you. This is me simply saying things could be so much worse. It may not seem like it. I know. I don't understand. I'm not you. I'm not saying it's not hard. I'm not saying it's not hard. I'm just saying there is a way, some way, somehow. There is someone waiting to help you. You just have to put in the work to find that outlet. There are people at the end of an 800 number that desperately want to talk to you if you are wanting to die. They want to help you live. Suicide prevention hotlines are for just that. There are people that desperately want to help you. Do not give up. Do not surrender. Please be steadfast. Be stronger than this. Be stronger than your weakest moment. around us that will die a little bit if we do. We must
must live. We must go on. And together, we must all find freedom in the continuation of the human life cycle. We must push 